In a global marketplace, businesses have to sell their products and services on a worldwide stage. The UK has a long tradition of innovation and selling around the globe. Exporting is not new to us, we've been doing it for a long time. So why now? Well, our research suggests that for many SMEs there are real opportunities in a range of markets, some of which can be reached via the internet. Over a quarter of SMEs expect increased orders, with nearly half of these anticipating growth in export sales. Many are budgeting for exports to form an increasing proportion of their overall sales. The devaluation of the pound and the economic growth in emerging markets such as China, India and Brazil offer real opportunities to SMEs with good products and services. Over the next few minutes I shall look at some of the things from a financial perspective that are important for any exporting SME to deal with to ensure that export growth is sustainable and profitable. Whilst there are good opportunities for export growth, many SMEs perceive a range of barriers to exporting successfully. Remember, today's successful exporters were once SMEs taking the first steps. From a financial aspect, some of the barriers include Concerns about securing payment from international customers Concerns about bad debts Worries about having the resources to explore new markets and finance sales to them Worries about demand for products and services so how do exporters recognise and deal with these issues? Maintaining the flow of cash is critical for any business. Selling into export markets often means waiting longer to get paid and trying to ensure that you receive the cash from your sale when you expect it. There are a wide range of ways to create greater certainty of payment. Some of them will be normal in certain markets and less so in others. Talking to the trade specialist at your bank will help you understand what will best fit your needs. Specifically, the options would cover a proportion of the sale made in advance. This may cover your initial cost to produce the goods. A letter of credit. This provides certainty of payment and allows you to control the delivery of the goods to your buyer. They need not be complex. Speaking to your trade specialist early in the discussion with your customer will ensure the terms are right for you. Documentary collections provide a halfway house between the letter of credit and the more familiar open account which you'll have used within the UK, allowing control over the goods by keeping a bank in the payment process. Open account. This can work in those markets where you have an established track record with your customers, but even so, it's always worth considering how you ensure the risk. If the customer doesn't pay, they are a long way away and chasing the debt can be a protracted and expensive process. Often you'll be competing with other overseas businesses for your export clients trade. As we've seen, payment terms may be extended and you will want to make sure that the financing is available to meet your export orders. So, apart from traditional overdrafts, what can you do? Where you've taken the time to negotiate certainty of payment, you'll find that trade finance will often provide the funding that is right for your exports and will grow as your export business grows. So, what is trade finance? At its simplest, it will use a letter of credit from your buyer to support the working capital you need to build your product, pay your suppliers and be ready to deliver to your customers. The more letters of credit you have, the more finance you can raise. There are many variations on this theme, so again, an early discussion with a trade specialist will help. If open account terms are the only way for your exports to grow, then export factoring and invoice discounting can provide the finance you need, and also protection if your customer does not pay when expected. The main risks are that your export customer does not pay you, goes bust or the country they are in gets into difficulty and does not have the means to pay you. Where you created certainty of payment, say with a letter of credit, the risk of the buyer defaulting or the country not having the ability to pay can be taken by your bank. In addition, there are other forms of trade finance where a collection or open account arrangement can be secured by a bank. Credit insurance can also provide the means of reducing these payment risks. Talk to your bank early to work out what is best for your business. 
Exporting can provide your business with long-term profitable growth. Don't be an accidental exporter, prepare to succeed. Do talk to the trade specialist at the earliest opportunity. Don't leave the finance questions to the last minute. Understand the risks of selling abroad, then manage them down with help from the experts. Many businesses, big and small, export successfully. Join them.